The grid that we have here in GarageBand iOS is certainly very handy, especially when you're using loops and MIDI instruments. But sometimes when you're using some audio recorder tracks, you want a little bit more control. And that's where the ability to turn off the snap to grid comes in handy. In this video, we're going to dive in and take a look at how to take off your snap to grid. My name is Pete, this is Studio Live Today, where I help you create, record, and release your best music. Now, here in GarageBand iOS, if you would like the ability to zoom all the way in and do really precise edits like this, then this is the video for you. Let's dive in and take a look now. Okay, so as I mentioned, the grid that we have here in GarageBand is very handy. Here it is on a MIDI instrument. You can see that you need to be able to line up right here on the grid to program your instruments, to play your tracks, to loop things correctly. However, sometimes you've got things like these guitars, which are an audio recorder track, and you want a little bit more control. So you see that I've been zooming in there. To zoom in, you put two fingers on the screen and separate them, just like anything else here in iOS. And to zoom out, you pinch your two fingers together. So how do we actually snap the grid off or turn the snap to grid off? Well, it's actually really simple. All we need to do is zoom in to the absolute closest. So you can see as we're zooming in here, our bars at the top there are getting further apart. We're getting more control. We're getting additional uh, little notches here to be able to line things up. If we zoom all the way in, we're pretty close here. Yeah, if we zoom one more time, then look at this, up the very top there, snap to grid is off. So now we can actually move this with absolute precision. So we can line up right at the start of one of these hits. So where, where is this handy? Well, let's find a spot where the guitar comes back in where it might actually be useful for us to have this happen. So you can see here, there is our guitar hit right there and then our guitars are right there on the grid as we need them let's find a spot where they're perhaps not and see if we can adjust them using this method so here's a good spot so right here at bar 72 you can see here this guitar here looks like it comes in right on the beat but this one down here is a little bit off let's just uh, have a listen to these two together So yeah, I was definitely a little bit early on this guitar. So without snap to grid off, it would be really tricky to do this. But what we can actually do with the grid on here is come right into here and we can do a split right on this spot. So if we split and drag that down, then what we can do is do another split sort of towards the end here like this, split there. And then if we want to do some really fine editing, we can grab this and without holding it down. If you hold it down too hard with the 3D touch, it'll actually move it like that. We can grab this piece of audio and we can actually move it a little tiny bit like that just to bring it right there. And you might think, well, you, now you've got a gap. Well, yeah, you do. So it's a bit of a trade-off, but in the mix, you're really not going to hear it. Whereas if we now play these couple of bars like so... <laughs> There you go, so you can see that you can easily do some edits and this one wasn't quite so obvious, it wasn't too far off and in fact it's still not quite on the spot that we'd want it, but again, oh, we did the exact same thing there, undo. But again, when we go right in and turn snap to grid off, we can tap it again and then we get this complete control to move it right there where we want it. And again, we can try playing back. And there you go, it's hitting right on that beat. So if you want to start doing some really fine editing, the ability to zoom right in and then turn that snap to grid off is going to really help you get a whole lot more control here on your tracks in GarageBand iOS. If you'd like to learn some more GarageBand quick tips, we've got two more videos just down below. You can also click on the top right corner to subscribe to Studio Live Today or head over to studiolivetoday.com for more audio goodness.